kid's wake, it was, it was like a giant flashing arrow pointing at 26 years of missed things. My brother Aiden, he would have turned 50 this Easter. Let's make that day meaningful, a celebration of his life. We can invite your sister Tierney. Tierney! Oh, so glad you could make it. Oh. And your brother Liam. Liam, Lena. And find some of his old friends. How long has it been? A very long time. <laughs> shit. Oh, you look oh. amazing. And Sunny. Ernie, this is Anastasia's ex-wife. That infers a recognized marriage. Well, now that we've found some common ground, there's more to this party than a dead guy's birthday. <laughs> Liam, look at you with that beard. No, that's his wife. Good one. You were gonna be a banker, right? I'm a founding partner in a firm downtown. Aiden always said that you were gonna end up the most successful. Well, it's too bad mommy and daddy aren't here to be so proud. Let's make this day be about Aiden. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. I bet everyone has a great Uncle Aiden story. I've listened to romanticized recollections of the life and times of Aiden McGinn long enough. Knock it off. Maybe we should just eat. You gonna tell me how to behave, Tinkerbell? Mm -hmm. That was completely out of left field. Really? Well, what's your plan, Fiona? You gonna be like Dad here and try and fuck your way to happiness? Can we just try and respect Uncle Aiden's memory? I think you should tell uh, the other story about Aiden. Are you fucking nuts, no. Liam? I'm done being the one who has to live with all the secrets. There's always something missing with Aiden from the beginning. Susan, it's been a long time. No, he said he was okay. He was serious. He had different smoking. He was talking about getting back to the table. I know. You don't ever talk about him ever again! Why didn't you talk to us, Liam? Sometimes you have to bring someone back to really let them go.